And the Lord God said, Behold, the man has become as one of us. Now we know God is talking to other people again because he said us. Man on earth done became like us. How did he become like them? Read on. To no good. Read one more time. To no good. Read again. To no good. Read one more time. To no good. To no good. God created spirits that just no good. All they about is doing what's right. Then on the other hand, he created some spirits that don't know nothing, don't know nothing else but evil. And all they know is what's wrong. So now God is speaking on both behalf. He said, man, done became like the host of heaven. Prior to Satan deceiving Eve, man only knew good. Now what does man know? He knows what the devil knows. He knows evil too. What y'all want to call it? <laughs> man has become as one of us. Okay, that gives me a beginning. <laughs> Thank you for that. I appreciate it. Let's go to the book of Genesis chapter 3. I appreciate it. Everybody go to Genesis chapter 3, and I'm a, I'm a, we're going to talk a little bit about... Uh, what took place in the beginning, um, and why does God allow evil on earth? Okay? Evil is on earth. We know that, right? The question is, why do God allow evil on earth? Um, in the beginning, evil was on earth. You're going to find out when you read Genesis chapter 3 that the serpent was in paradise. What is the serpent? The serpent is the devil for everybody that don't know, okay? Give me Revelation chapter 12. Let me just get all this for, you know, I don't want to assume everybody knows the Bible and knows every verse. So let me, let me teach it to you. Get Revelation chapter 12 and uh, start at verse uh, 3 for me, please. Revelation chapter 12, verse 3. Read that for me, please. And there appeared another wonder in heaven. Read on. And behold, a great red dragon. Okay, a great red dragon. This is a wonder in heaven because, again, what's the wonder? How is this dragon on earth? Anybody that knows God, and I said this in, uh, in, in previous classes that I taught, um, when you know God, when you're a prophet of God, when you're a man of God, when you're a woman of God, when you come from the holy nation, the nation of Israel, you know God destroys evil. The wonder that John the Revelator is seeing is this great evil. This, this evil is a serious evil. It's a whole kingdom of evil. It's more than one kingdom of evil. It's seven kingdoms of evil. Right? Then one came out of the seventh which made it eight kingdoms of evil. And they ruled for a long time. So John the Revelator is wondering, how could this be? Not our God. Our God destroys evil. How can this great red dragon, this dragon represents the nature of, of Satan, which is going to give his kingdoms to, to human beings. How is this dragon able to, to exist and survive? Read that one more time. Verse 3. Come on. And there appeared another wonder in heaven. Come on. And behold, a great red dragon. Read it one more time. A great red dragon. A great red dragon. Read on. Having seven heads. Seven heads. That great red dragon is coming from the Edomite nation. The Edomite nation in this world is known as so-called Caucasian people. Do everybody understand that? Those are the ones that took the deal from the devil. They made a pact with the devil to rule the world, okay? What world? The Greek world, the Spanish world, the German world, the British world, the world of the Americans. Do everybody understand that? They made a pact with the devil to get it. You don't believe it? Read Matthew chapter 4. Reference that. 
where Satan said, these kingdoms are delivered unto me, and whoever I will give it, I will. He already was saying that while one of the kingdoms was up and running, which was the Roman Empire, Caucasians. Go back in the history of the, 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 the nation of Israel. Go back in the Apocrypha and read about the Maccabees, which was during the time of the Greeks, and you're going to find out that what? Evils were multiplied in the earth. So wickedness became very prominent. I mean, wickedness was already on the earth, but once Satan got, had his kingdoms, wickedness became what they call now off the hook, off the chain, or whatever you want to call it. It's completely, uh, it's, at its, it's at its peak. Seven heads and ten horns. Read on. And seven crowns upon his head. Those seven crowns meant that they would have seven kingdoms. Do everybody understand that? Read on. Verse 4. Okay, now give me verse 9. And the great dragon was cast out. Okay, so those kingdoms of the devil are going to be crushed by God, but they're going to allow to rule. They're going to allow to rule for a little minute. Hold that and get 1 Thessalonians chapter 2 and give me verse 3. 1 Thessalonians chapter 2 and give me verse 3. Everybody go to that. 1 Thessalonians chapter 2 verse 3. Read that for me, please. Let no man deceive you. Yeah, don't be deceived because you're going to find out when we get to Genesis chapter 3 that that's the job of the devil. So don't let devil, the devil's agents or his angels deceive you through men. Read on. By any means. Come on. For that day shall not come. The day where the nation of Israel is going to get back in power. The day where, you know, the nation of Israel is going to rule this earth. Read on. Except. They come a falling away first. Except the nation of Israel had to completely fall as a nation of people and forget our heritage, forget our culture. That's when God was going to bring, not before then, but only after then, was God going to bring that mighty nation of Israel back once all of their power was gone. Read on. And that man of sin. Read it one more time. And that man of sin. Read it again. And that man of sin. There's a man. That's known as the man of sin. Read on. Be revealed. And people don't know who this, who this person is. Who this man is. This man has to be revealed. He has to be shown, right? That's what revealing means, right? Has to be made known. That day gonna be, that man gonna be made known when the children of Israel is coming back, right? Right? Because they had to fall away first. When the children of Israel start coming back, that means the prophets coming back, the priests coming back, everything coming back. Christ coming back. Yeah. And when that starts to happen, the devil know the light going to start shining on him. They're going to come back and say, that's the devil. That man of sin be revealed. Read on. The sun. Read it one more time. The sun. Read it again. The sun. Say it one more time. The sun. Read it again. The sun. Read on. A perdition. This is the child of hell. What this means is they were created to be in hell. It was like hell gave birth to these people. Do everybody understand that? Okay, they, they were created to do the works to get you in hell. That's it, okay? Ain't nothing they're going to do that's going to get them to heaven, okay? <laughs> Everything they do going to get them right to hell. Read on. Verse 4. Come on. Who opposes and exalted himself above all that is called God. Okay, so the man of sin don't want to have nothing to do with God. Remember that. Remember that. The man of sin and the children of hell is going to oppose everything. They're going to be against. They're going to be an enemy to everything that has to do with God. Read on. All that is worship. All right.